they have been made strangers in their own land. The Tibetan monks of China, who swear allegiance to a leader long in exile, and in so doing defy and unnerve their communist rulers. These pictures, smuggled out at great risk, show defiance on a mass scale. Fireworks for the Dalai Lama the night he was awarded America's Congressional Gold Medal, an award that enraged the Chinese and enraptured his followers. The celebrations are illegal, but still they crowd the streets, and there they are confronted by police. Witnesses say the night ended in violent clashes. The trouble began when they fired cannon to put out the fireworks. People were so angry. Some started throwing stones and rocks at the police. Then the paramilitary police came. Few are those brave enough to speak out. The punishment is imprisonment. Detentions and beatings are routinely reported, which is why we had to travel undercover to meet the monks of Lebrun. Well, they tolerate their religious practices and their rituals, but only just. What these people really want is the Dalai Lama to return. And even to talk about that is tantamount to treason. Note the Dalai Lama's picture on this monk's wall. He tells us it's enough to send him to jail. Officials from the local government came to our monasteries and uh, our villages in our areas, and they forced us to say bad things about the Dalai Lama. We journeyed to India to meet the man the Chinese denounce as a separatist. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm John, John Ray, Ray from ITN. Very pleased to meet you. Unloved and unwanted, they say, but we showed him our pictures from the Tibetan monastery. I think they uh, express their deep feeling mm. without fear. Whether Tibetan people is a forget me or not, that doesn't matter. That's not the issue. The issue is six million Tibetan people's basic right. And now is the time, he says, to make the Chinese listen. This Olympic year in Beijing, he wants peaceful demonstrations. Since China has won the Olympics, the situation in Tibet has got better or worse? Oh, certainly worse. Uh, their present sort of policy, negligence, or neglect about these things, only how to keep, you see, the law and order. For 60 years, the communists have ruled Tibet, and they have ruled with a heavy hand but hearts still belong to the Dalai Lama.